Mike, what'd you think out there today? Um, I know it's probably hard to, you know, replicate the adrenaline, but you know, as you guys get further along in this thing, is it, is it getting more, you know, are you getting more able to ramp yourself up for these, these kind of outings? Um, a little bit, just cause you know, you know, over the past spring trains, you know what it, it takes to kind of get ready. Um, but even a couple of people out there, it's just, you know, watching baseball and no fans is kind of, kind of boring. So, uh, but we just kind of have to mentally and, and physically, physically get yourself ready. I mean, we just have a great team. Um, you know, they split the teams up so great that, I mean, you're facing one heck of a line of either what team you're uh, on, what team you're on. So that kind of helps um, a lot going forward. Uh, you know, just having those type of guys that um, have been out there, been there, done that. You get to face them on a daily basis um, almost. So it's, it's, it's great to do that. But um, you just kind of have to go uh, dig a little deep to find that, that fire or maybe that, uh, um, you know, that motivation to just get it pumped up a little bit. Like we, we could hear, you know, Acuna out there chirping some other things. What, what are some other things players are doing just to, to you know, create some excitement? You're just you're going to see a lot of it now is like we uh, got to pick up game. We went to a high school field. You know, that's, that's the kind of environment. You know, you're going to have a lot of – a lot of chit chat, a lot of talking out there, a lot of friendly talk, but a lot of smack talk at the same time. And that kind of really what just keeps you, just keeps you into it, keeps you enjoying it, keep, <laughs> the, keep your smile on your face, even though you're yeah. under that mask. Um, <laughs> so just those little things. Um, and you're playing against each other right now. You're in the city of Atlanta. Um, you're at your home ballpark, which um, you know it's kind of cool at the same time. It's just um, you know a little perk added on. You get to you know do all the stuff here. I'm just like in the middle of the season, and once the season starts, boom, you're 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 right into it. But you'll see the you know the smack talk and just the you know, joy. It's just like they say, a pickup baseball game, but we're actually throwing you know hard. We're not allowing it in there, and it's just it's fun, it really is. What what were some of those workouts like at Campbell? I mean, did did you guys, you know, I know you're appreciative that they they allowed you to use the field, but you know, just <laughs> no, no. Just to, like I said, so many people to thank over there, but we got to go over to Campbell, Campbell High School. Um, I mean, we went there almost six times a week, uh, you know, throwing bullpens two times a week also. Um, but it's just one of those things we had to do. We knew we kind of had to do it to stay in shape to, you know, because any, at any given moment, you know, the season could have started. Um, so we just took it upon ourselves to really stay in shape, get in shape. Uh, you know, we had Schley. Um, come out, catch our bullpens. We had some of the guys, um, and know, like Soroka told you guys, come out and hit against us. So, I mean, it was really, really helpful. Um, so we got very lucky to be able to go to that school and throw every day because, like, you guys know and saw it was difficult just to get in the gym, to go to parks to throw. I mean, it was it was tough. So we got very lucky, me, Nuke, Mike, and like you said, we had a bunch of guys come in left and right um, just to be able to stay ready because, like I said, any time MLB could have started us back up and we would have had to ship right out to spring training. So, um it's like to thank all those guys that were able to help us because if you know, never know what happened if we didn't have those guys. Okay, it seems like uh, all you guys are, are pretty sharp right now. The guys that worked out together and also uh, Freed who worked out, you know, with uh, Flaherty out in LA. It seems like all you guys are where you need to be with a couple of weeks to go. Sure. Um, you know, it's like I kind of said, we had to kind of take it upon ourselves um, to stay ready. Uh, like I said, nothing was open, no gyms. A um, few of the parks around were open, so you couldn't even go play catch somewhere. So you kind of had to make a lot of phone calls, um, you know, maybe beg a few people uh, just to, you know, to get in and be like, hey, we kind of got to stay ready because everything is just straight shut down. Um, but we got lucky and said we really uh, you know, just motivated to kind of stay in shape because we knew um, everybody kind of wanted the season to start. MLB and the players, we wanted to get the season started. Um, so we just knew in the back of our head we had to stay ready because there's a, there's a bunch of guys that are you know right there behind us ready to ready to take our spot just so we just always got to be always got to be prepared and almost kind of treat this like a like a second off season kind of just always always be prepared because someone else is is going to be ready too. Was that the key for you? Is that why you felt so good today? You were, you were as sharp as you were. That you were I, uh, I, I I like to think so. Um, when all this stuff, stuff happened, the quarantine, I probably took a week off, you know, that was it. And we had to scramble to get ready um, because I mean, you never know what would have happened. Um, but I kind of, you know, give, give credit to that, to, you know, throwing six times a week and, and staying on those bullpens to, to be where I'm at today. Because we always told people, I mean, we're always 80% ready. We're 85% there. Um, and we knew MLB would give us about two and a half, three weeks to, to kind of get ready. So it all kind of was a perfect plan that we, we kind of put in place.
Mike, as you go forward, is there a certain amount of pitches or is there a certain amount of outings you feel like you're going to need between now and the 24th to be as ready as possible? Or are you just kind of seeing how this thing progresses like everyone else? I have to go with the, go with the flow here. Um, after today, I think I got two more times maybe off the, off the mound. I think we're weeks away. Um, so I think we're, uh, you know, have guys listen to their arms. They might take a day. Um, in between, but we're really going to try to stay on these five-day rotation things, get ready for the season. It's going to it's going to uh, sneak up on us here, um, but we all should be ready. Like uh, Cranny says, this is a time where we really got to got to listen to our bodies, um, take care of our arms because you know it was kind of a little quick two and a half, three weeks. We got to get ready here, and um, like you said, just listen to your arm and, and go out there and get ready for that sixty-game season. Um, but it's going to be fun. Mike, we keep hearing uh, Snit talk about how you can't you know, simulate the adrenaline. Did, did today at least do a little bit more, you know, like that? And, and to get through, you know, what amounted to three innings, three or four innings today uh, in terms of a workload, did it feel the same as it, it would uh, uh, from a conditioning standpoint? Um, a little bit. I you know I got to the field today, you know, with some butterflies in my stomach, but it wasn't, you know, as near crazy as, you know, it might be opening day or, you know, a game in September or something like that. Um, but like I said, that might have to be a part where you, you know, might have to mentally, you know, pump yourself up or something like that. Because we always say we wish we had adrenaline as a drug, man. We could just hold off to the side, <laughs> take a pill or something because, um, you know, that is just a, a different feeling when you have adrenaline. I don't think you can really um, practice that unless you're on the mound against, you know, the Nationals or someone. Even though you're facing your teammates out here, it's not really the same thing. And, you know, you kind of don't want to hit them. And, you know, you're still out there practicing stuff like that. Um, but once that adrenaline hits, that's kind of, um, why you practice in bullpen so much because all, all the stuff kind of has to feel natural out there because when that adrenaline kicks in, I mean, your body is just doing things that you had no idea um, that you could do before. So uh, it's a little bit of both. You kind of have to get yourself pumped up. And once um, a lot of us have been in games enough to once that um, once we actually step out on the mound, um, we'll be all right. But it might be a little different without fans, so we might have to, might have to feel that fire some other way. All right, any last ones for Mike? All right, thanks, Mike. All right, guys. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike.